Hey folks, I'm HBC Dr. Pink. Today's topic is the ACDC song. Gone shooting. Uh, let's check that one out. It's really cool. <laughs> And so on and so on. <clears throat> We're not learning the whole song. You just listen to the original song. I'm just going to show the three main parts which are played, which I just now played. And um, sound settings is, um, I don't know, this type I took a British amp, all on the master volume and that stuff. Um, no reverb. And uh, the tuning is a little bit special. If you we want to play that they were together with the original recording and find out that the, the tuning is not correct. That's a trick. Um, oldest records of ACDC, they are slightly out of tune, but that's really an old trick uh, to create your own sound. I guess the guitars are tuned maybe on 432 hertz, or wh whoever knows. 428 hertz is also something which is sometimes used. 432 hertz sometimes is meaning it sounds more soft and this way you create a more unique sound if you're playing like in regular keys. This is a, a known trick of composers to create an own sound by putting in special tunings. So that's what happened with the old recording. So let's get started and see how the whole thing works. So it's um, probably played in F sharp. I'm pretty sure about it's F sharp uh, with a special tuning. So it starts, and there are two guitars, but I'm going to show a version which works with one guitar with the main riff. So, first section is the intro, is this. One, two, three, four. This is this. We start with the F sharp bar, uh, power chord here, second fret, and then this little lick in between, two, four, hammer on, two, two pretty simple now the timing is a little bit tricky so the chord comes if you count through on four and one two three four and one two three four see one two three four and one comes then <coughs> this little riff or the little lick comes on two ends a so one two one two last note comes on three one, two, three, four, and then the chord comes again on four and so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, one, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two. So that's played a few times. Check the original recording. And that's how the whole thing is played in the intro. But uh, I think it's played four times, and uh, the last time is a slight little uh, difference comes here. So one, two, <coughs> three, four, two, three, four, one, two. So this note here comes in four end instead of the chord again. This note, and then. Then comes the chord on one, and then comes the, the main riff. So, and, and this probably play with two guitars because one play, and it's not possible to play both parts as a. Somehow you need the bass note on the one, and the first time it's possible because you don't have this last little thing going on. So, so one. And one and one and two three and then he here a bar here in second second then five four here um, comes and count um, two and three 
One and one and two. Oh no, three, four. Come on, three, four. One and two, three, four. One. Then we have a bar in the fourth. And then here uh, we have two two and hammer on two two three, but you let ring the upper part and then resolve it on the fourth fret. And then again comes this little uh, little uh, uh, lick here. Two three hammer on. And here on the second in the E string. So one and two, three, four, one and and with this little little lick here, you don't have time to play the bass not the second time. So you just and then you go direct again to. That's the main thing which happens here. As I said, the timing is pretty essential. So first is on one end, three, four, one, two, and this comes on four. So this comes on four. And then you have a slight break of an of a eight note, and then on one end, this comes again. Let's see. Uh, how these two parts work. Now let's first check out the, the ending because the ending is very simple. This repeats it times a few times. You really need to know the lyrics by heart. Then it goes kind of a refrain. On B5, 4th um, fret, 6th fret, uh, no, not B5, sorry. C sharp 5 to B5 to A5. And the timing is the trick. Again, we come on four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. So you <coughs> change the chord each time on the four end, and that gives more drive, but the rest is all pretty simple, and then we are finished with the whole song, more or less. So one, two, three, four, and one. Yeah, let's do the whole thing with the track now. Two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, Folks, I was it already. The song is pretty simple, it's from uh, one of the older records, that's why there's the special tuning on the original guitars. And these are the three main riffs. And you just listen to the original song and then just, just put in uh, what is all needed. And that's basically how the whole thing works. And have fun with it. And yeah, if you want to have the taps of these three riffs and this simple backing track, I mean, it's just drum and bass to practice with it if you cannot play along with the original one uh, you can download in the hp crazy guitar academy join there anyway because a lot of other cool stuff there and follow me on instagram i have a new instagram account hp crazy follow me on spotify concert will be announced there really cool stuff yeah follow me on google and just be cool, be a fan, get a t-shirt. Now this one is also a cool guitar shop, which one I always go. But uh, <coughs> also get a t-shirt. Yo, me and Dr. Pink are signing off and still Christmas time. December 26th, so we go back to celebrate. Bye. <laughs>